Welcome to another TMMI video presentation on his installing Prophecy Historian. The objectives for this install is for, to install the different components on a single node, verify operation of the Historian server, collectors, and clients. Assumptions in, in our scenario, we're only using the standard edition of Historian. The only server component we're using is the data archiver. We're using OPC and simulation collectors. The administrator and Excel add-in are our clients. And the user, as always, should have experience and or training on Historian systems. The Historian standard install is very similar to previous versions of Historian. There's individual installs for the Excel add-in, client tools, collectors, release notes, and even SQL Express, which is used for alarm and events only. The topmost link is for the full installation, which gives complete visibility into all historian components being installed on this node. We'll be installing the historian server, collector, and client components on this node, so the full installer is selected. A benefit of the full installer is being able to see all components. When you first run this installer on a node, the checkboxes are the defaults. Subsequent runs of the installer on a node show what is installed, indicated by the checkboxes. Deselecting removes a component. The default selections are shown here, but we're not going to install the calc and file collectors. And we are going to add the OPC collector and the Excel add-in. The next two panels cover different aspects of security, but on an initial install of Historian Server, it is recommended to go with the defaults. The OPC Discovery panel displays available OPC servers and select the one you want collectors generated for. In Historian 6, OPC collectors can also be configured to communicate with OPC servers on other nodes via DCOM. The default software installation path is shown. 32 and 64-bit components are installed in x86 and x64 subdirectories. The default data archive path is shown, which also includes the log files and buffer files directory locations. The Historian software installation now begins, including the licensing drivers, which are included with all Prophecy software installs. More often than not, the install will always prompt to reboot. Almost all Historian components run as Windows services, with the data archiver being the most important. On to the Historian Administrator, we can see both collectors are now running. OPC collectors have to be set to automatic. They default to manual. We can also see what licensing the Historian sees and verify the key is being read properly. Navigating to the location of the archives, we can see the installer has created two additional folders, buffer files and log files. In the archives folder is a default config and system data store archive, which is where system messages are stored. A few settings to check on an initial install are that auto recovery files are enabled. This used to default to being disabled, but in 6.0 it looks like they've changed that and also disable strict enforcement of client and collector connections. To set up the Excel add-in, go to Office, the Office menu, uh, go to the File menu, go under Options, then go to Add-ins, then hit the Go button down below, and with 6.0 uh, we have two Historian add-ins. Now if we want to validate the basic workings of the system, we need to trace the value of a tag from the data source to the client. 
So let's add a few tags from our simulators, collect some data, and verify we can see some output. So we're selecting simulation tags from both the simulation collector and the OPC collector, which is also generating simulation data from an OPC server. We can now see that we got report rates from each collector, and through Excel we're able to query tags from the historian. Those report rates basically show the events per minute that are being uh, read from each item. You can see our purple uh, menu bar at the top, and we can now do a simple query and see if we can see some tags uh, from our system, as we do here. All right, some key takeaways. Plan ahead of time on a network diagram what historian components are to be installed where, server, collector, and clients. Installs are done a note at a time. Best to start with the server. Use the full installer for server and collector nodes or for any node where you're going to be installing more than one component. After server and collector installation, validate data being stored is accurate with what is being read from the device. Verify your client nodes are able to connect to the server and perform queries. And verify all the components start automatically. Thank you for watching.